Hi, how are you? This is Tara T. Stallings. And I just came in to share a few minutes. Um, this is my video blog. I want to talk today about breaking cycles. I've been sharing a lot about breaking cycles because I see that there's a cycle that a pattern in people's lives that they can't seem to break. And I was having, having a discussion and I asked the question, um, because I felt like this so many times before. I felt like my life was on a merry-go-round. Guys, have, ever, have you ever felt like your life was just like a, on a merry-go-round? Well, guess what? Recently, I took a certification class about um, Girl Circle. Well, Girl Circle is a program that I have that's based on motivational interviewing. And what it does, it teaches you how to navigate through life and how people make decisions. Now, as I was going through this and taking a certification, and I've taught this motivational interviewing uh, model many times before, it talks about pre-contemplation. That's just when someone is just, huh, I'm not thinking about change. Then they talk about contemplation when they say, hey, maybe one day, but mm, not right now. And then we have determination when they say, hey, you know what? I'm tired of going through this. I want to do something different. The next stage is action. When they actually start implementing some change in their life. And after that stage, it's called maintenance stage. That means they've been changed, they've changed, and they're on a, they're, they've been doing it consistently for a while. And then the next stage is relapse. Hmm. Relapse. Okay, relapse means life happens and they are back at point one, pre-contemplation. Now, as I was just going through this cycle, I said, you know what? That's a merry-go-round. Because it's in a circle and you keep going around and around and around and you never get off. How are we going to break cycles in our life if we are continually on this merry-go-round? We keep going through pre-contemplation, contemplation, determination, action, maintenance. And then when life happens, because life happens, we relapse. Because we are creatures of habit, and we go back to the thing that comforts us. So we go back to that same thing that gives us comfort, that gives us that, gives us that quick fix, and then we're back at, oh, how did I get here? How many times have you felt like you are on or have been on this merry-go cycle in life? Whether it's with your weight, whether it's with relationships or your job, with certain people, whatever it is, if it's substance abuse, whatever it is, do you feel like you just own this merry-go-round? Well, as I was kind of contemplating and meditating on this cycle, I said, you know, it's one critical part that this cycle has left out. And it should be right in the right before the action stage. Because action is I've decided and I'm doing it. So during the action part of the stage, you have had to have made a plan. So okay, I made a plan and had a decision on I am gonna stop eating so much. I am gonna stop getting high. I am just gonna stop spending unnecessary money. Whatever it is, you've made a plan. Strategically, I'm going to stop doing this. Okay? Well, hear me when I say this. What happens is, in the relapse stage, we've never planned in for the life that happens. So what happens is, during our action plan, we never plan for the trauma, for the mishaps in life. So when we get to relapse, when life happens, we relapse and we are back on that merry-go-round over and over and over and over again. So what I submit to you is when you're trying to break cycles and you feel like you are on a merry-go-round, you have to factor in the traumas of life. You know, death happens, accidents happen. 
if that happens. One of those things that's going to be your trigger point that's going to set you back on a, on the stage, on that cycle, or put you back on that merry-go-round. What are those things that's going to make cause you to relapse when life happens? So go ahead in that action plan when you're trying to break cycles. Factor in the traumas of life. Your best friend dying. If it's close to a pa- or one or two pairs, factor in how are you going to handle that situation so that you don't relapse. If food is your comfort and when a stressor hits, you go back to food. Find something that's going to satisfy you on the same capacity that that food would have satisfied you. So that when something happens, you don't relapse. So you're able to get off the merry-go-round. To get off of the merry-go-round. We are talking about breaking cycles. Have you? Are you ready to get off that merry-go-round? You have to factor in the traumas of life. You have been listening to Tara T. Stallings. Hey, you guys, check me out. Go to my website, taratstallingsinc.com. Check my book out, Ladies Let's Talk, Life, Lives, Love, and Relationships. I talk about all of these aspects of life that we have to deal with. And guess what, guys? It's not just for ladies. It's not just for ladies. So check me out. Leave your comment below. Subscribe to my YouTube page if you already have it at Ladies Let's Talk. Uh, sorry, I'm sorry. At Let's Talk Tara. Thank you. Until next time.